Hi, Robin with OxyDry, and uh, as you can see, I am doing a condo building today. I, this is the second time I'm doing this building, and um, the first time I was here, that was uh, very badly stained up. Again, it's got a lot of stains. Um, I've got three floors, and then, uh, but it's not that big, really. Uh, but a lot of spots, a lot of big stains, spills that are happening on this rug. Um, I haven't seen the other two floors yet, but uh, this one looks pretty soiled. <laughs> uh, but the uh, lady who's managing the building here, she uh, told me that she had already vacuumed everything yesterday, and then uh, she said she did it again this morning before I got here, which is kind of nice. So anyway, um, now the purpose of this video is really to focus primarily on um, somebody had asked me a question and so this is for those of you who um, are using machines like this and um, the use of uh, this machine with handling the cord so this is kind of like cord management 101 so the uh, secret to dealing with your cord with a machine like this is you kind of operate this main light machine like you're using an electric lawnmower you be going down come back or down come back but always work away from your power source so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do, obviously i'm plugged in here so i'm going to go down the right side of the hall come back down another you know step over and then step over going back that way and then back this way so uh, you'll see what I mean as I go. Um, so the secret is to always try, if at all possible, to move to clean away from your source of power. Now with these stains here, I'm going to be um, you, you notice how the light is so handy. Um, I'll be doing a little bit of extra going over these spots. I did pre-treat them already, and what I did is I, um, I've used some, uh, I've got surround pre-spray in the, uh, in a trigger sprayer. It's a pH of about uh, 9.1. cleaning this carpet with Revive Rocket, four ounces per gallon, and um, I've got a microfiber scrub strip pad on the machine. Oh, I'm at the end of my cord. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Okay. I thought I'd make it all the way, but I'm not going to quite. Okay, so anyway, I'll, I'll turn around and here's the trick, you uh, make sure the, the power cord is on the wall and just go back down the hallway, overlapping of course. And then I'm going to turn around, do another pass. Just going nice and slow with this job because uh, there's lots of stains to deal with. I've got weights on the uh, on my machine, as you can see. I've got uh, about, I guess that's about 40 pounds of weight, I think. I think each uh, individual weighted around 10 pounds, and there's four on there. So that adds to the weight of the machine. So you can see how easy it was for me to uh, deal with the power cord. So 
so that section is finished. What I'm going to have to reposition is an outlet around the corner just so I can do that section of hall over there. So we'll head back down here. Thought I saw a little spot there. Anyway, that's basically uh, managing your cord 101, as it were. <laughs> so, uh, I'll let you go, and uh, I will continue on here. Thank you for watching.